Hey guys, uh, I just want to take this time to make this quick uh, beginner tutorial on uh, how to use cyber. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Alright, so the task section. Uh, we have uh, quite a few options here. We have the add task, uh, clear out task, start task, stop task, and option where we can open the capture window uh, along with a mass change, uh, mass change link. Uh, we'll talk about the add task first. Um, so you, as you can see, Cyber has a lot of different sites that you could uh, put in. You get the Supreme, Off White, uh, Mr. Porter, Netter Porter, Foot Site, and Shopify Site, and the Mesh Site. Uh, but what usually works is the Shopify Site. So we'll be talking about the Shopify. Um, for the purpose of this video, we'll only be talking about, uh, let's say, KIF. You select KIF as the site, and here you have uh, keywords and URL. So, before a release, if you know the URL, you could just pay. You could just uh, put the URL here. But if you don't know uh, what keyword is, it's basically like uh, what you think the site will put the product name as. So. Uh, let's say for this example i'll use our uh, keywords so let's say uh i'm looking for this product nike air max 97 black or red all i would put is uh let's just say air max 97 uh black so what you put is air and then hit enter air max 97 black so what this will do is it will pick up uh, any product that has the, the, word, the title Air Max 97 Black. So if there's another product that has the same keywords or the same, almost the same title, then it might pick that up too. So uh, you got to be careful with that. Um, you can also add negative keywords. So all you have to do is just add a, a minus sign in front of it and just something, I don't know, uh, uh, Jordan, whatever, whatever. You don't want to pick up that uh, has that keyword. But uh, for this one, I'm just going to leave it like, uh, leave it as positive keywords. Um, so sizes, you could just pick any size you want. I usually do random because that's just how, how I do it. And um, depending on the site, if you, if you need a login, you could just uh, you have to turn this uh, turn this on and enter your email and password. Usually for Kif, there's no login, so uh, you turn this off. For password, uh, if the site has password, then you could turn this on, but usually it doesn't, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, Checkout profile, you. You select a uh, profile you want to check out the shoe with. Uh, I'm just going to use a fake profile here, and the amount is how many uh, how many tasks you want to uh, create. So uh, I'm just going to create uh, one and uh, schedule tasks. Basically, if you you know if you want to go sleep and you just schedule uh, whatever whenever you want the bot to start. Uh, but for this video, I won't and specific proxies basically if you want to use a specific proxy for this specific task usually i just leave leave it blank because uh, it'll just pick up random proxy uh, from my proxy tab so that's how you create a task uh, all you have to do is click the add task you can add more by clicking the add task um, and you could you can also delete the task start the task edit the task uh, but uh, i'm just going to use one task so you can also clear all the tasks and uh, start all tasks or stop all tasks so that's pretty much the task section uh, also here you could click this to open the capture window now what you do here is basically for usually is for Shopify uh, sites they require a capture um, and to bypass this capture you have to log into your uh, Google account. You have to log into your Google account. So I logged into my uh, Google account 
basically you want to watch a YouTube video 15 to 20 minutes before drop time so that Google, so uh, Google recognize you as a human and so it won't give you that uh, a hard capture it'll just give you like one click so you could just buy so you could bypass uh, bypass the capture and check out basically I usually just watch th uh, these type of video with timers and you know you just leave it for a couple minutes before you click uh, either the check or the or the refresh usually I just click the refresh so it comes back to this page and every time and uh, every time when you when the draft finish you just want to clear the cookies because if you do not maybe uh, next time if you log in uh, it, Google might not recognize you as a human so you might not get the one click so it's always best to just clear your cookie after after a drop on a site or after the whole drop depending on how many gmails you have uh, and here you can also add more you can add more solvers so you could uh, put more gmails more gmails means more one clicks so if you have a lot of tasks it's always a good idea to put more but uh, don't put too many salver or else you might get banned from uh, Google unless you uh, use a different proxy for a uh, different salver. What I usually like to do is just leave a two or three at local and that's pretty much all I need. But if you're using more, uh, try to use a proxy for, for the third or fourth one. And that's about it. Uh, what this button do is uh, basically is just to test if you have a one click. So if you click it, you could just it will just test. And looks like I didn't have one click on this server because I wasn't signed in. Uh, but usually you you just want to test it out because sometimes it might not work. Now the mass link change option. You only have to really use this option if. Uh, if the keywords, if your keywords never picked up that product on that site. Uh, so for example, Kif, they love, they usually like to play games. Uh, they usually drop products, not name that product. So if your products like name, name Air Max 97 black, uh, let's say, I don't know, they drop something named la 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 la. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't be able to pick up because, because uh, it's named la 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 la. So in that case, Cook Group is actually useful because sometimes they might pick up that uh, the URL from the website like GIF. You just click it and you'll be take it to this page URL. You just quickly copy it and then go back to Cyber and uh, click F1. That's like the hotkey for the link change in, uh, in their bot. So basically, if you click F1, it'll just automatically change everything for KIF uh, to that URL. But e even though if you have other sites like Social Status, uh, Submission, uh, any other site, uh, F1 will not change those. They only change uh, KIF. That's uh, another good feature of Cyber. Now for the proxy section, this is uh, fairly simple because all you have to do is just click Add Proxy and just put your proxy in uh, for example I have these proxies just copy and paste it in here and just click add proxy and all the proxies should display over here and uh, basically you can also clear them you know you could test them one by one or delete them one by one here you could just click uh, you could change the site for Shopify Supreme Mesh for site off-white custom and you just have you just click test proxy and there you go. It will say Shopify here and the speeds. And obviously, I don't have the best speed because I'm not in, uh, I'm not in the server, and uh, this these proxy are in a different city than I am right now. So, yeah. Usually on release day, I open the server to get the best speed. Uh, usually for me, it's Virginia AWS, but uh, everyone has their own uh, preferences. And that's pretty much it for the proxy section. Now for the billing section, this is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, I already have a pre-fill uh, to my test uh, profile, but basically, uh, I'll just quickly explain this. Basically, um, you put a, a profile name here. It could be anything you want. Here, it's gonna be the email. 
here it's going to be the phone number uh here is the card holder's name uh yeah should be a name of the card holder and uh here's the credit card's number and uh expiration date and uh cvc over here is your shipping details your name first name last name uh your address uh your zip code should be right here yep and over here is your city and then your country obviously and your state i'm just gonna leave mine here and basically if this is off that means it's the same your billing is the same as your shipping if you want different you can turn it on put the uh, different info but usually i just leave it off and depending if you want one check out per profile you could just turn this on but i usually leave it off and uh here is basically jigging your address so like let's say my uh, address is 766 uh, for the four you could just click this it would jig it to like soup b you jig it again which is like room a c whatever etc you could do that for multiple profile with the uh, with the jig um and here th there's a little heart here so if you turn it on basically you are making this profile uh, your favorite. So if you're in a crook group uh, and there's an uh, option where you could, you know, when sometimes uh, a site drops, so drops a product randomly and you want to cop uh, ASAP. So you would click uh, quick test. And what this does is uh, it's basically it's going to make a test with this profile if you favorite it and uh, try to cop it and go to checkout. So that's what this is for. And after you click this, if you want this to be a favorite, leave it on. If you don't, just click it off. And basically, you just save it. And that's about it. Uh, you can also export it. Export all your profiles to your computer. But for cyber, you might not even need these options um, because they have a setting that will just import everything or export everything, including your task and profile. So basically, once you finish uh, entering your information here, you just click save and it will save. Or if you just if you just want to make a new profile, just click new. But uh, make sure you save it and then and it will be it will be over here. Now the settings section is uh, pretty easy to understand. Um, the most important part in the settings section is the monitor delay and the retry delay. So what the monitor delay does is um, it's when Cyber scans the website for the keyword, link, SKU, or variant, whatever you put uh, in your task. And uh, the retry delay is whenever you get an error uh, checking out and it retries to add to cart and check out. And cyber is measured through uh, millis milliseconds, so a thousand will equal will equal to uh, a second. And whatever numbers you want to put here and here, it depends on how many tasks you have and how many proxies you have. So, like if you're running a, a lower task than your proxy, you could set the delay to a lower number, so it, it could be faster and check out faster. And um, if you have more tasks than your proxy, uh, you could run a higher delay. Although I don't re really recommend it because it can get you banned. And uh, and essentially you're uh, you're low you're uh, you're putting yourself in a higher delay, and you might take a no. So how I like to measure the delays uh, from task and proxy is in a 1-1 ratio. So like an example would be, uh, let's say I have 50 tasks and, uh, and uh, 50 proxy. That would be a 1-1 ratio. And um, basically, if I have 50 tasks and uh, 50 proxy, I would leave it as that, 1,000 and 750. And if, like, let's say I cut my task in half, that's t uh, 25. So it's uh, it's going to be a one two. So what I usually do is change this to half, like uh, 500, 
this as well uh, and then I would uh, and, e and each time uh, the task is uh, cut in half I would go another half like 250 etc and usually what I like to do in every release is um, is uh, s set this delay as high like 1750 as default because I usually never have more tasks than my proxy so this should be fine and uh, I usually run it uh, very early uh, and and closer to the release time like let's say 15 to 20 seconds before the release I would change this up to a, uh, usually to a hundred the lowest and I would click save and then it will uh, change it to those numbers and even though you have a lower task and um, a lot of proxy sometimes if you don't have enough proxy then these uh, with these delay it, you can still get a uh, soft band but it's usually okay for the first uh, one to two minutes before you get banned by then the the, re uh, the drop is already over usually it takes like a few seconds to sell out in Shopify sites but lately Shopify sites has uh, up, up to the game so uh, like some bots don't even work and it's it's tougher now uh, back then you used to be able to bypass queue like very easily now sometimes you you're stuck in queue bots failing don't know what's happening I mean in that case if this queues usually uh, I would say put uh, the normal delay like maybe a thousand a uh, thousand and 750 as default and and have and have uh, tasks less than your proxy but have more tasks so you can have uh, so more tasks is waiting on the queue and have a, a, a higher chance of bypassing the queue once it, once it pass the queue then you check out uh, yeah that's how it is nowadays the next part is uh, the capture API key that's uh, on their side you don't have to uh, worry about that this one is the discord webhook so basically every time you check out it sends a notification to your discord uh, it's a pretty cool feature basically you go over here you take discord you see I have some over here um, you make a channel right here and um, then you just create a channel and you get this and you create another channel and you will get something like that and then you just click edit channel over here you see webhook you click here uh, and you click the edit and you just copy the link over here the copy and um, you just go back to cyber and paste the link over here and each time you check out you get a notification on your discord if you uh, turn this on you get a notification from cyber uh, themselves but I usually just leave it off current version that's the version Christmas mode you don't need to worry about that it's just just some snow falling um, and here is a uh, contact support check for updates and save settings so when you change uh, the delays you could uh, click save settings and here uh, just export everything import everything so after you make your tasks uh, you could export uh, everything and it will save the task and your proxy and your billing so you don't need to um, for the billing you don't need to uh, export it it's, it's the same thing and that's pretty much it for the setting section all right so let's pretend it's uh 15 minutes before the drop time uh what i would do at this point would be to open the google login and uh, log in and uh, i'm already logged in but uh you would watch a video probably for a few minutes just leave it uh after that you would click uh you would click refresh or to check and then um let's just say let's just say uh it's 15 to 20 seconds before the drop time you would go to settings change it to 100 uh, for each and click save 
and uh, it should it should already start it, you should already start start the test like uh, uh, earlier if you have a higher delay as 1000 but since I had an early link for an existing product uh, I didn't want to start it for in this video because it wouldn't say uh, waiting for product but uh, during a release it will say a waiting for product because it never dropped yet so for this video uh, I'll show you what uh, what's supposed to happen so basically you would start tasks and then it will say adding to cart submitting order processing this is no captcha it says payment to client you get a notification here check your discord it will say decline and um, that's what's supposed to happen because uh, I was using a fake credit card yeah and basically that's how you use cyber in a nutshell um, so if you find this video helpful please uh, like my video and if you want to subscribe you could do that as well I will also link my Twitter and Discord in the description below. So if you guys need any help or still don't understand, you guys can add me on Discord uh, and ask me. Uh, I'm usually there. So feel free. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.